2016, I was sitting on my couch and I was starting to type my business plan for Tila Studios. And I realized that I didn't even know the components of what it meant to have a successful business or what it takes to even create one. So when I was looking for opportunities to really nail down what it is I wanted to do, I came across the organization C4 Atlanta and I saw their program Ignite. And I said, that is the program for me because C4 supports creatives, they focus on their professional development and ex for them to excel in their careers. Tila evolved and I knew that I needed to have it in a community that I love dearly. Um, as an African American woman um, living and working in, in Atlanta, um, particularly East Point, I knew that I wanted to make my work and my place where I live actually the place where I work. Being an entrepreneur and being an artist, I tried to compartmentalize those two things initially when I started Tila. I had my goals and visions for myself as a visual artist and painter, and I had my goals for myself as an entrepreneur. And both of those worlds were battling. And really those two things are connected and have a really unique and dynamic synergy that I didn't realize. And it wasn't until a conversation with Cosmo White and he asked me, he's like, you know, Tiffany, have you heard of the term social practice? You know, because what I see that you're doing at Tila is a form of social practice and social pra practice is an art form. He told me about building community in a very dynamic way through art and having space to do that, like the Astor Gates in Chicago. And I took that and I honed in on that and I loved it. And I think that has allowed me to pick up my paintbrush or start doing the work I'm doing now with yarn and allow my space to facilitate my art practice and not thinking of those two things as separate. The defining moment for me when I started Tila um, was really coming to the point where I had to find my location. And um, I was the only person in class that had a brick and mortar idea for Tila Studios. So I pulled up to the building that I had been eyeing for weeks. I spoke to the facility manager. He let me in to see the space. And I saw so much potential. It was fully carpeted, it had puke green walls. Everything was just disgusting. It used to be an old uniform shop. I told him I wanted the space. I wanted the space. I don't know how I was gonna get the money for the space, but I, I knew I wanted it. But I knew that I had to do this. And so um, he gave me the challenge to say, hey, Tiffany, you know, you have three weeks to put on an art show and um, I want you to fundraise for your business. And mind you, I was working two jobs. I was taking the Ignite class. Um, I was trying to cover my bills and I had to produce this thing. 300 people came to the opening night we, had, we raised about $5,000, we packed out the house, and the energy was so vibrant that this community, um, small business owners came, so many people from everywhere was like, oh, we didn't know you were a business, we never knew Tila was here. And I'm like, y'all don't even know, Tila doesn't even exist yet for real, like we're not even a real thing. But I knew the power of, you know, my drive and my determination, but also the power of being armed with tools to succeed, you know, like going through that program and having someone believe in me in that level and to give me an opportunity to showcase my talent and my work. And I, I had to take it and we did it. And somehow my building manager canceled the contract for the other um, small business that was gonna come in and operate in the space that we currently operate in. And I signed the contract to um, run my business out of that space. C4 has been a very critical component in the success of my career. From drafting up the finances, to finding my brick and mortar, to understanding my market, from marketing to mission and vision statement. I created all of that in that eight week program. And I really saw that, you know, my idea had the potential to scale and really become a reality, especially after I pitched it at the end of the program. You know, I'm very hard on myself, but I think, you know, me being hard on myself always pushes me to strive for excellence. And so right now, I'm proud for the place that I'm in, and I hope to achieve more in my practice as well as an entrepreneur. I love it. I do. Like, this is going to be a crazy-ass day, and I'm going to hopefully have my eye together by the end of the day. <laughs> but, like, these days, this is what gets me going, you know, to be like, all right, it's 10 o'clock, show time is at 7. We're in solid sink and cabinets. I have to go pick up wine. I have to do 15 more things before I can actually get to 7 o'clock. We can do it. The impossible makes it feel so possible to me. Because like, I love when people are like, oh, you can't do that. And I'm like, oh, I can. Like, you just don't know.